Hey guys, take a with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your phone if it can't find other Bluetooth device you're looking to connect to. Now, that could be because of multiple reasons why you can't connect a Bluetooth device with your iPhone, and we'll walk you guys through the steps to troubleshoot and hopefully resolve the issue. So, let's get started. The first thing is, whenever you're having an issue when it comes to um, connecting any Bluetooth device, is really simple. Make sure the device that you're trying to connect actually has charge. I guess it sounds really simple, but uh, most people don't realize if you're connecting it for a very first time, let's say if it's a PS5 controller that you're trying to connect to, maybe your AirPods, they might not have charge themselves, so they can't be on or it doesn't mean that the phone can't get to them or find them because of course if they don't have charge they're not going to be able to get detected so make sure of course simple but make sure they are charged so after you have done that the next thing you want to do to troubleshoot is pull down the control menu from on your iphone here just like that and what you want to do is turn on airplane mode for about a moment so give it a few seconds and then turn it back off and what that does is it refreshes the network of the phone things like you saw Wi-Fi and Bluetooth again turn on and off which helps again if there's an issue with the Bluetooth device yourself on the phone and the next thing you want to do also is go into settings same thing again here you can go ahead and turn off Bluetooth for a moment and then turn it back on again it kind of gives us a little refresh of the Bluetooth so that any device you're looking to connect hopefully will appear on the list here. Now if you're still having the issue the next thing to do is force restarting your iPhone. Now this method will not delete any apps, videos, uh, photos, any of your personal data. All it's going to do is turn off the phone and give the reload the code again. So to do that you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down on this side right here and then you're going to hold this big side button till the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears and then we'll let go. So in real time, volume up, volume down, and then this side button right here on the right hand side. As you can see, I'm not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. I'm just going to wait till the phone goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears again. Keep on holding it, as you can see, and then I let go of that button right here and again, reloads the code, gives it a phone nice refresh, any sort of minor software bugs, uh, glitches, uh, or any, any issues for the matter of fact should be resolved after you do this, which is one of the go-to steps when it comes to troubleshooting iPhones. Now after you have done that, go back into your phone, enter your passcode to get back into it, and once you do that, the next thing you want to do is essentially check if there's a button to enable Bluetooth on the device you're looking to connect. What we mean by that, sometimes there's devices like the AirPods themselves will require you to press this button on the back here whenever you want to activate Bluetooth, right? You want to do that. Same with uh, the PS5 controller here. There's a button here to enable, make sure it's turned on to kind of let it know that you're trying to connect to Bluetooth so that it does appear on your list of devices here and you can actually connect to it. Again, simple things, but depending on your device, look at the instruction manual or the manufacturer's guide on where and how to activate that. Going to be different for each person, whatever you're looking to connect. Now, after you have done that and still not showing up, the next thing you want to do is check out in your settings screen time. And then if you have screen time enabled, it might be like that. But if you don't have it enabled, you don't have to worry about this step. You can ignore this step. But if you do have it on, it's going to look like something like this. And you'll see there's an option for content and privacy restriction. We're going to click on that and make sure it's turned off. If it's turned on like this, it's not good. You want to make sure that it's turned off just like that and go ahead and see if your device shows up. And if it does, that means that content and restriction settings that you have on is most likely impacting that uh, Bluetooth device not being able to show up on your phone. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having the issue is go back into the settings again. And once you're in the settings here, this time we're going to go to general and then all the way down here with this transfer or reset iPhone. We're going to click on that. Once we click on that, we'll click on the first option for reset. And the reset that we want to do is the network reset, which is the second one. But before you do that, a couple things about the network reset. What will it do? Well, it will not delete your uh, photos, videos, apps, any personal data. What it, will d what it will delete is things like saved Wi-Fi password. If you had uh, like any kind of settings that are network related on the device, those are going to get erased. But again, it's necessary if you can't simply connect 
to a Bluetooth device that you're looking to connect. And this usually takes about a minute or two, so it can be pretty much a quick and easy way to fix it. Now, if you're still having the issue, the last thing you can pretty much do, and it's one of the last resort, is go back in your settings, and then this time you're going to go to General in the software update, and look to see if there's a new update out because what happens is each time the phones are updated a previous update might have broken connectivity to some Bluetooth uh, device that you may have connected in the past or something going on. It's always good to install the latest version of the software on the iOS um, device that you have. So you'll click on download and install. Now, depending on how big the size of the update is, this could take you between half an hour to 45 minutes, even up to one hour, depending on, again, your Wi-Fi connection as well. And make sure your phone, when you're doing this, to plug it in so it's charging so it doesn't die during the process. So hopefully, by going through all these troubleshooting steps, you're able to go ahead and connect your Bluetooth device that you're looking to connect and the issue is resolved. And if so, we want to hear from you guys. If you found a better way to fix this issue, leave a comment in the comment section. And if this video was helpful in any way, really appreciate hitting that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.